And I ask myself, how are we as a society are planning to evolve if we are constantly blocking our own efforts, if we're constantly destroying what we already reached? One problem is definitely the sci-hop discussion. We want research to be done, but on the other hand, if you want to do research, you need to buy research papers, which cost an, a tremendous amount of money because you not only need one, but you need maybe 10 or 100 to make a proper research. So on one hand, you're saying, well, you can do research, but you have to basically be super rich for doing that. And on the other hand, because we have these business models where like different companies have different research papers and the, the databases bases are totally not linked to each other. We have references like this, like text references. We invented hypertext, but we still use text references in our research papers, in the papers that build up the future of our society, we use the technology from Gutenberg. It's like, welcome to the Stone Age. And this is not everything, right? Like even if you even if you say, okay, well, well, okay, let, let's let's go with the letters. Let's go with only the letters. Let's let's say, okay, hypertext, that's too much for our researchers. Let's go with only the letters here. Well, then you search for these references and you don't find anything. So people research these topics and then you search for the, the results, you search for the researchers, but there's no record of that one. That means all the research, while still valuable, is slowly like fading away, going down, unreachable forever. And because actually, you know, because the older research, because stuff that is linked here, for example, if you cannot find this, the validity of this very document where these references were given is also questionable. That means if you're building your research, let's say the, the, the research structure, if you're building that on referencing different papers, then in the second you take out the references that are given, uh, th the stack no longer holds. So again, we're destroying ourselves by not making this stuff available. And apparently until now, the business models that like are enforced by certain, let's say organizations to make you pay for the research papers, apparently their business model did not until now for the last 20 years we had the internet in a good way, did not support in any way that we like keep these references or even find them or even find them quick. I mean, you have to search for each and every, imagine you want to check all these references from one to seven here only, it's a very short list. Then you have to search for each one and maybe it takes you 20 minutes for each research paper to search. That's already a large amount of time, given that you find these, right? So again, the initial question, I wonder how some people in the society intending to go forward while if, if they are blocking what we reached so far if they are trying to put on hurdles like artificial hurdles to to prevent newer research of course you could say well well that's they are trying to protect information is like basically like selling books is like uh, like property they're trying to protect property but here's the thing you know when you want to publish a research paper in a certain organization you often have to pay a large amount of money the last research paper i published took about around 500 us dollars or something like that so you pay first you pay this amount of money and then for each reader who wants to read their research paper, they also have to pay a small amount of money to read that. I understand that you have an initial high cost for publishing papers because they have to be reviewed and they have to be checked. That's very important. So the price is probably very high, that's okay. But after this initial thing is done, why not just give it away for free and give it away for free in a way that allows proper and quick cross-referencing. That means hypertext like here, this would be a link directly to this research paper, to that page, to this publication. So whoever is interested, whoever wants to verify the validity of the research paper these references are in, can quickly check that. I mean, just to check if a research paper is valid will probably take you, I don't know, two to three months because you have to read through all that stuff and you have to find it and you have to read through all that stuff. Maybe that's okay for a newer research paper where sources are like 
published within the last 10 years but as you can see like stuff from 1997 where can you find that and to be honest in this very example even 2011 is like unfindable for me so I wonder again how are we planning to evolve as a society if we constantly destroy our own efforts